changes the color in chocolate color, we call that as a chocolocyst. Or it can contain just the clear fluid, while this known as the ovarian cyst. And this ovary can be adherent to the other structure, not free. That means from all the surfaces of the ovary, there will be the egg release. Only if it is released from the side which is adherent, will not result in the proper release of the egg. And the most common condition which you are known and aware is the a PCOD, which we call it polycystic ovarian disease. What exactly you mean <coughs> by polycystic ovarian disease? That means ovary, there is a some hormonal imbalance. The eggs are being formed. They grow to a certain extent, but they don't really grow to the stage where it is capable of releasing and they are arrested at the end border. And because of these small, small cysts, the condition is called polycystic ovarian and the other condition which is commonly known as endometriosis. That means the blood which comes out during the menstruation, some amount of the blood gets collected inside the cavity or over the, the ovary or maybe over the tube and that may interfere not only for collection of the blood around the ovary but within the ovary which I have already explained chocolate cyst. Now, let's talk about besides the ovary, there are certain conditions which control the whole system of reproduction. The thyroid abnormal, hyper or hypothyroidism, or the hormone which comes from the pituitary that is called prolactin. So high levels of prolactin, which is known as hyperprolactinemia. Or the hormonal imbalance within the ovary. Once the egg is released, I said that the collapse corpus luteal phase has to be specific to support the pregnancy that can be short that may occur the pregnancy but was corpus luteum the hormones coming from corpus luteum might not allow the pregnancy and it has not risen or something like the condition known as Adrenaline, which is the gland situated just above the kidney, also secretes the male type of hormone, will interfere with entire reproductive system. Of course, endometriosis, we have already discussed. Now, important thing which you feel that you are on the investigation, all of them are normal, but you haven't conceived. So often the question asked to Dr. Ben, everything is normal. What is the problem? Why I'm not able to conceive? That condition is unexplained infertility. And believe me, the treatment of an know the cause. And other causes which you know immunology, some of which I can say that as if you are in substance, the system, the woman can have a to the sperm to the immune or some to the specific foreign body. 
and occasionally the man can be however there is really good treatment is also available but this is the condition one can keep a reproductive system or to become pregnant or the pregnancy should not affect her system or her disease should not jeopardize medical cause presence of diabetes blood pressure anemia or the effect of chemotherapy which she might have taken in past during her curable cancer in the earlier days therefore when the woman comes one must look for severe illness history of prolonged antibiotics nutritional whether she is having a balanced diet or she has the deficiency of not only vitamins minerals proteins or any nutritional deficiency her built a small thin emaciated woman or severely obese woman also have infertility and the commonest cause you know it and of course lifestyle the smoking habits of alcohol or drug addiction and as you know because of the environmental changes the incidence of infertility is gradually increasing such as exposures to pesticides pollution radiation and so on therefore the total proper examination of the woman is very important now we are coming how do you diagnose this infertility general examination will be done first whether she is fit to become pregnant how whether her breast is well developed having the secretion which can be due to hormonal imbalance or prolactin or secondary sex character like external genitalia development of the breast distribution of the hair and general condition as we have already discussed we'll go the organ by its organ once a you have finished the general examination examination of reproductive system is very essential and should be done carefully vagina it can be absent vagina it can be short vagina there can be infection in the vagina and the entrance to the uterus that is where the sperm migrates from the vagina to the uterus there might be a block because of the polyp there might be a ulcer which will not really make the sperm survive for the longer time but the secretions of the cervix have be such that it will be conducive it will help the sperm to traverse upwards so the presence of the mucus and later the cervix leads to the uterus the size of the uterus mobility of the uterus direction of the uterus is very important and at the same time proper thorough examination also gives you the idea about the size of the ovary which may be larger may be due to adhesions it is fixed or it can be painful or it can have the chocolate cyst or the other type of cysts now one has to detect that the woman is really the proper egg per must follicle development in that follicular there is a small tiny egg which measures almost 100 microns is found the follicle is not the egg but with this 
follicle, there is a small egg which is size of 100 micro egg, which we presume that there will be the egg, which can be seen on the sonar. You can see here the small number of circular or elongated structure called follicle. Don't think that the woman has got so many follicles, but it develops only one in the single cycle. These multiple follicles may be due to that this leave the drug and more than one follicle is developed. And this follicle has some air, the tiny egg has to be released and that rupture can be seen on the sonography and can see next day that the follicle has ruptured. Now this the sonography is not available. One can estimate the hormone. LH, which we have told you, that luteinizing hormone, which is released from the pituitary, is responsible for rupture of these follicles. Instead of sonography, you can get the hormone. And once this follicle has ruptured, it has become corpus luteus, secrete the progesterone, which helps not only the implantation and sustain the embryo there and in continue the pregnancy. So you can measure the hormone. And if all these are not available, one can also see the signs of presence of all the and presence of rupture that follicle released. Now, see that passage to the sperm is normal. In that case, of course, you have to see the cervix properly and see this healthiness. But if healthy cervix, but to study the secretion, which are supposed to be present in the cervix and which come from the cervix. And this has to be abundant, crystal clear, having a good elasticity, which help the to migrate. So one can see the presence of the sperm in the mucus and they are good motile. If you study that mucus under six hours having the relation. And next structure which is extremely important is the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube is the one which brings the egg from the ovary to the uterus. This can be studied by two men which is hysterosalpingography, that is the X-ray, which shows a healthy, normal uterine cavity and having the two tubes on either side and they are open tubes. And if they are blocked, the dye will not come out from these tubes. Or if there is any problem with this, you may be able to see the abnormality the shape, the septum, the growth, the polyp, the fibroid, or the division, is the small, all that on the X-ray. Or the other gold standard is laparoscopy, where you can see with your own eyes, the color dye should come out from the tube. Besides those, there are many conditions, many tests, such as Fallaposcope, you put the scope inside the tube, or salpingoscope, or sonohestroscope, and more. But these two are gold standard for studying the tubes. Then, of course, comes the uterus. The uterus can be studied for its normalcy by sonography, which will show you not only the size, shape of the uterus, inside part of the uterus, any pathology inside the uterine cavity, and these things can be confirmed by laparoscopy. To shorten is 
So a small cyst will suggest the polyps or the normal developing follicles, which may be the response to the cyst have the ovary having the cyst. Follicle. Follicles or the cyst, anything it can be, which can be followed by repeated sonography and optimization with your own eyes with the help of laparoscope is the final diagnosis for any condition. These are the large ovaries suggesting polycystic ovary. These are the normal looking ovary and these this, these two ovaries for some sort of function, you can study the function of the ovary and also proper ovulatory condition by the blood estimation. If you estimate the blood that is follicular stimulating horn, which comes from the pituitary, and stimulates the follicle in the ovary and daily of the menstrual cycle it will tell you whether the connection of the brain to the pituitary from the pituitary to the ovary and the ovary to the uterus is intact and the entire cycle is functioning normally. You can give certain drugs and try to challenge the activity occurring with her fertility function is preserved or presence. Then these are the two investigations which are very important. On the sonography, you can count the measurable follicle, which will be the Eight millimeters and slightly smaller, six to eight. And if the woman has got a good fertility, you will have a good enteral follicle count. The follicle which can be seen and measured on the sonography, but the smaller than that, which are not visible even on the sonography, are called pre-enteral follicles. The, the pre-enteral follicles, if they are present in the ovary, then will be good levels of Mullerian hormone. We call it AMH. AMH comes from the very small follicles. If this which is low, what it suggests that particular ovary that does not have birth in conception. So therefore, it's very, very important hormone for the women who are getting older, which gives you the reproductive potential See, one of them is endometriosis. That also interferes with the pregnancy. See, now, Besides taking the proper history, we sonography places all over the, the uterus, that the ovary, when this blood gets dried up, the ovary tube can get adherent not only to each other, but also to the uterus or and on the lateral part of the uterus and the pelvis. After doing the structural examination, examining the entire reproductive system from the vagina to the ovulation. Some hormones also can be estimated 
which gives you the indirect information about the reproductive function of the woman by estimating the prostaglandin which indirectly interfere with the conception equate hormones and if the time ovulation is occurring in time or presence of some autoimmune therefore from brain that is hypothalamus pituitary and other endocrine glands like thyroid adrenaline and all those one has to study for the proper conception and cause the obesity very thin lean malnourished women or very obese women will have difficulty for the conception so therefore looking after yourself and proper health is equally important and of tobacco smoking alcohol drug addiction it affects the infertility in the various manners for example development of the follicle migration of the embryo and or implantation of the embryo receptivity of the uterus and allowing the pregnancy to grow and blood supply to the uterus and allowing the pregnancy to grow naturally and healthy develop if the woman has got curable cancer in the past and she has taken chemotherapy or radiation maybe for some time it might result in infertility but in certain cases after taking certain drugs can have the good effect and can be reestablished therefore taking the history and knowing what drug she has taken in past what treatment she has taken in past is very important and then there is some structural defect in the woman like can be a small uterus absent uterus absent ovaries absent vagina that may be due to some chromosomal abnormality and when such conditions are present the chromosomes study of the woman should 